What's up Riverside? Oliver with Via Design here. Just doing a quick little video of today. Um, yeah, it's uh, a little bit slow with this COVID-19 thing going on. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I just kind of want to show you guys what I'm up to this morning. Um, I've got this Honda something. I don't remember what it is. Uh, Accord. It's going to be getting a gloss black roof wrap. I've got the vinyl set up there. I'm going to start installing it here shortly. Um, but yeah. I'll keep you guys posted as I'm going along doing this thing. So, um, I'm sure you guys saw that video of just now. I had the film up on the roof here and kind of want to show you guys something. So, when I do roof wraps, I don't take the antenna off. Um, I'll show you how I do it to get it to look good. So, took some masking tape, made a template of the antenna, found where the antenna is going to land on my panel um, and basically just place it there. Then I'll be taking my blade, doing a pre-cut a little bit smaller than the shape that I've got in here, um, just so that I can tuck underneath the antenna and it'll look like the antenna was removed. Another helpful tip is to mask the antenna. Um, the vinyl doesn't stick to masking tape as well. So that little excess that I'm going to have is going to be able to glide really easily off of this masking tape and I'll be able to feed it and tuck it underneath the, the antenna here. So that'll just save me a bit of a headache there. So here it is. I did my pre-cut. Um, made sure to round this edge right here because you don't want it to start splitting and tearing down um, into your actual panel. So you want to make sure you round it and make sure you don't have any edges where that film can tear. Um, now I'm going to lay it down and kind of go from there. Alright, so I got my film set up. This is 3M2080, so it has the protective liner on it. Um, it gets lifted up when you pull the masking tape off, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um, so here's my pre-cut hole. As you can see, I've got full coverage. Um, it's still too small for the antenna, so but that's fine. That's kind of what we want while we're pre-stretching and pulling this to glass it out. It'll all flatten out and we'll be able to form it around that antenna just fine. So here we go. So I got the liner released. I've only released about half of it um, just to get this antenna here laid down nicely. Um, still got a little bit there that's hanging over. It's a little bit in the front and that front will kind of pull up as I glass the, the film forward. So I got all of the liner released. You can see all those wrinkles up there. And I'm going to pull the film towards this corner to get rid of that stuff. Alright, I got it all glassed out. I haven't even squeegeed it yet, but it's pretty flat. Um, so I'm going to start laying this down. Alright, so I got all the film laid down. And now, just to get this to, to ground, so I've got this Avery Denison Flex Stream. Um, Basically, it's going to be releasing the film from around the antenna and then just tucking it into the base, getting rid of all that tension that you've got there. Just making sure you get a good tuck all the way around. Being extremely careful on the back over here because it's really pointy and you could tear the film pretty easily. I think that's FedEx. Oh, they went next door. Okay. Alright. Now, let me move you guys to the other side. There we go. So I'm going to be continuing to do the same thing over here. Just releasing the film, tucking it down to the base.
Now it's tucked to the base and ready to trim. So now the roof is installed and now I have to trim. Um, so focus here. So I'm going to trim on the fender side of the panel here. I'm going to show you how that works. Have a blade. I'm going to click the blade to get a new sharp edge. There we go. New sharp edge. I'm going to put it against the fender side here. Angling away from the paint to make sure that I'm not cutting on the paint. And just using that body line to, to guide my blade. Let's go all the way to the end. I started halfway, so I'm going to pick up here in the middle and then go all the way to the front. That gets removed. You have a nice, clean, straight cut. Now, tuck this guy in. Normally I remove these roof rails, but this one was a little, it's an older car, the clips are a little fragile, so instead of breaking a bunch of clips and having to deal with that, um, left the roof rails in, and now I'm just going to be tucking, tucking the film underneath, because you can see there, there's a little bit of There's excess film right here. Um, kind of hard to get it with my squeegee, but there's excess film and there's a rubber gasket that I can tuck underneath. So I'm gonna get that all lifted and tucked underneath there. So right now I'm using two flex streams, one to lift that gasket and the other to tuck. I'm just kind of taking my time, letting it glide. Sometimes you have to reposition, kind of start over and get it to Go smoothly. You want to be careful because you can tear the film while you're doing this, so you definitely don't want to do that. You kind of just have to go, you'll eventually find a flow and get from one end to the other. Go back to seal the deal. And now, you can see the rubber gasket there and the film is tucked underneath it nicely. So this area is a little interesting in that, so here's the roof, here's my, so this is the roof here and then this is where the roof ends and this whole section right here is a rubber gasket that um, basically protects from the windshield up to the roof and basically seals that edge. Um, most times the gasket can be lifted up pretty far. In this case, you've only got about a quarter inch. Uh, my focus. You've only got a quarter inch, so I can't. Usually I'd trim on this side right here and all this film, this half inch of film would tuck underneath, but there isn't enough room to tuck all of that film, so I have to trim it's short. So basically, whoops. Basically, I'm going to be prepping that there. Take my blade, find a good spot, and then just very lightly trim there. Kind of show you guys what I'm talking about once I get this trimmed off. So I got that trimmed, and now I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about.
So I'm releasing, I should have put masking tape here to make this easier. I'm releasing the film from the gasket just so it's not sticking to it. Now I can go back over here and lift this rubber gasket that I've got. Get my flex stream in there again, my tuck tool, and just gently, actually it might be easier with a squeegee, just more surface area, and just gently, smoothly take it in, I'm going to have to move you guys for a second, oh, I'm slipping, oh. So, there's that rubber gasket. There's actually a lot more room under there than I thought there was, but it worked out either way. So I trimmed it, tucked it, that edge is sealed. There isn't an exposed edge that's just kind of sitting on that rubber gasket there. And now I still have the other side to do, but it'll pretty much be done the same way. Easy peasy. It's an awkward angle, but you know just listen to me I guess. Um, so again, just running my finger along that gasket to seal that edge, finding a good spot, and then just lightly trimming, because you don't want to trim that rubber gasket either, you don't want to cut through it, because that would be, it's a weather seal, you don't really want to damage that. So, get a nice clean cut. Remove your excess. Hopefully that is a good angle there. Let's put you guys right there. Alright. And I'll continue the same way. So I'll release film by just kind of running my flex screen through here and again It's good. I didn't trim this part because I still need to trim this side. So I'll do that and then I'll tuck the rest of it. All right, so I got it all trimmed and tucked and cut around. Now I've got to do, let me see if I can space it out there nicely. The, I'm trying to find the best angle for this side. visible there. I guess we'll just do it from here. The sunroof. Um, show you guys how I do that. So, got about a quarter, let's say half an inch in here that we want to tuck this film in to wrap into the sunroof. So usually I give myself about two inches of extra material all the way around. Film. All right, cool. Got that extra film. Now I'll grab it. Warm it up. And basically just work it in. Wrap glove. I don't know if you guys have worked with 3M2080, but with the cap sheet, very grabby. Um, even with a wrap glove, especially like this ghost glove that's supposed to slide really nicely, it just does not want want to slide over that cap sheet. 
so I've got it tucked into there. Push this windscreen down. Slowly work it around. Work it into there. Got a little bit of a wrinkle over here, so I'm lifting that up and working it out. some of that tension that's building up there to make it easier to make this corner perfect and from there I basically just shave it right off the edge of the bottom edge of the sunroof second is a little more tricky because it does have like a lip kind of like a step there um, I still kind of follow the same same idea. It's kind of just taking your time, finding a good rhythm, and using that body line that's built into here to guide your blade. Got a good view of that, yeah. I could have tucked it all the way down here, but so much moving parts in here that you don't really want to mess with that too much. Um, when it's closed, you won't even be able to tell. Set you guys up on the opposite corner now. Heating it up. Again, my roof wrap still has that 3M cap sheet on it, so I'm not too worried about having my torch on the film and potentially scratching the finish because it'll just be scratching up the cap sheet there. Now for this corner. Nice and toasty. Now work it down. Oh. All right, the roof is wrapped, and now I got to remove the cap sheet. So again, you can see just clear sheet. Um, see if I can catch some of the. Yeah, you can kind of kind of see it all in there. Um, or I guess maybe not, but there's a little bit of scratching and stuff in the surface of the film. But again, that's all in this cap sheet right here, which I'll be pulling now. now good as new and there it is all wrapped up so like I said tucked behind there sunroof is all tucked and wrapped just finished up the antenna that's all wrapped up good to go it's looking good um, but yeah easy peasy